In this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create this 10 by 20 mat using Easy Mats Designer and the pre-designed templates that come with Easy Mats Designer. So to begin with, let's close this example and let's begin with a fresh document. Now our finished mat is going to be a 10 by 20 and because of the way we're going to be designing this, I'm going to start off my initial document three inches smaller in the width and in the height. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come in and do a width of 17 inches and a height of 7 inches. And this will all make a lot more sense here in a moment. So there is our document. Now I'm going to go into Adobe Bridge where we have all of the templates that come with Easy Mats Designer and there's over 150 pre-designed layouts. The layout that I want to use is in our single mat layout category and in our 10 by 20 category. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down till we find the layout that we want to use. And we have a bunch of pre-designed ones here. And let's see here. This is the one I was thinking of using right here. So all we have to do is double click on the template file here in Adobe Bridge. And that template will be created for us in Photoshop. So now that the template is created for us in Photoshop, we're going to add to the canvas. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our image and choose canvas size and we'll go ahead and choose 20 by 10 and make sure that the relative option is not checked and we'll go ahead and click OK and now our canvas is exactly 10 by 20 and we have a nice inch and a half perimeter all the way around. So the next thing to do is select our topmost layer and create a new blank layer here inside Photoshop. And then we'll use our guides tool. It's a great tool here inside Easy Mass Designer. And we're just going to do 1.5 inches IN and choose process. And that will give us a new set of guidelines, one inch around or inch and a half around the perimeter. So then I'm going to make a selection using these new guidelines by default selection snap to guidelines and then I'm going to do a select inverse and then all we're going to do is come in here and pick some kind of random foreground color and then just fill so on a PC we're going to do alt backspace option delete on a Mac and that's really all there is to it hit C to clear out our guidelines so now we have a new mat layer above so one last thing to do is choose the add matte bevels option here in Easy Mats Designer. And now you can see we have a nice bevel around that secondary matte layer. And that is all there is to creating great looking mats using Easy Mats Designer.